Welcome back everybody, this is Jason Seacrest and we are going to go through another one of our Adobe Illustrator challenge series. So in our challenges we go through each one of our steps in a little bit of a longer format so it is much easier for brand new users to Adobe Illustrator to follow along to. And let's just double check our smart guides. I do have some pretty low colors on my smart guide so you can customize that. Usually the default is like hot pink. And then also just notice since we are not doing anything that dealing with any of the spacing, measurement, or aligning, we are turning all of those off. If you're if they're all turned on and if it's hot pink, you have hot pink lines flashing all over your screen and it's going to drive you bonkers very, very quickly. All I'm gonna do is plop down some points. So I'm playing connect the dots first. You will notice that it is gonna try and connect. That red line is called the rubber band. You can click on Shift C or Escape, but let me just show you what that looks like. So if I'm in Preferences, if I just do Selection and Anchor Display, you will notice that I have my Enable Rubber Band for Pen Tool and the Curvature Tool. So if you like having it, it'll just kind of let you know, hey, I'm still on the tool. So if I click on P, I'm just connecting those dots. It'll still let you know that you're connected. So our next step is going to be our shift C or our anchor point tool and let's just show you the reason why I want you to get into the habit of I don't want you to have to come over and do this type of stuff where this thing is still trying to connect on you and then you're gonna come over and click on it so it's gonna be a little bit more frustrating if you're doing that shift C if you don't have your tear off I don't want you hunting over here either so if you're taking five seconds ten seconds to go and starting to do this type of thing where you're looking for tools it is much faster to just learn the shortcut so if I z just show you this process notice that we have straight lines first I'm gonna go shift C and our thought process is as long as there's only two anchors I can just grab that path and just move it into place super super easy so if I do pen tool I'm just playing connected dots again if I want to do multiple pen tool little ones at a time I'm just clicking P after each one of those. It's going to reset for me. P. And then notice that I don't have it trying to connect either. So those were some easy ones. Let's do another one. So I'm just connecting those dots. Just drag it down into place. And I'm just looking at that line. If I ever want to adjust the handles or the anchors, I am going to click on my white arrow, which is A. And then I can come in and delicately move those around. Super easy. So I'm going to click on P. Let's just keep on cranking through this. So as I lay things out, we are going to get to more and more curves. And we are also going to go through some of the thought process today. So again, if it's still connecting, Shift C. When I lay down lines, all of the ones we've done so far are just two points. I am adding that third point in. So as we are laying these down and as you are moving onto your own artwork, the two easy ones are where is the start and the finish of my line? That one should be pretty easy, right? So we just have one, two, one, two, and then I can dr just drag it out from the middle from that path. If I think there is going to be more of a curve, I am in the camp of I like having the anchor on the curve. I like being able to adjust it. I like being able to switch over to my white arrow and say, hey, I want this to go up and down rather than having big giant handles all over the place. So I like having the handle and the anchor, especially on the curve itself. So let's just keep on cranking around. Click on P. Again, we're just playing connected dots. You will notice that we are doing straight lines first and I'm holding down shift. And I'm going to click on Shift C. So this was just keeping it nice and straight. If I hold down Shift, I will be able to get nice horizontal, vertical, and 45 degree angles. And again, I'm just looking at that curve. Since this is pointed, I can just grab that curve. So some nice little things as you're going around. We have a lot of sharp corners in this one today. So you can be grabbing that path for a lot of these lines. Let's just come up to the top. I'm going to grab that eyebrow. I'm just going to tuck it in right there. 
shift C. And again, I'm just going nice and slow. Also notice that I am grabbing pretty much in the middle. So there isn't any confusion. You will also notice that we go a little bit long on some of these lines. And there is a tendency sometimes for, so notice if I'm on my pen tool, so no, and I'll zoom in on the video for you. Notice there is a plus next to the pen tool. So if I go a little bit off, it's going to switch to that little asterisk. So if I have a plus, it's going to try and add an anchor point. So you're going to notice that a lot of these lines are a little bit long, and that's just so we avoid trying to connect any of our lines together. So just go a little bit long, and we are going to be adding on our brushes as well. And so that also allows for there to be a little bit more of a wiggle room when we add those on. So I'm just grabbing those handles, just dragging them out. Let's just do a tiny bit of troubleshooting. If I ever drag something out, it's not in the position I want. I can always reset. If I am dragging it out and it looks like I'm getting a little, little loop, I can just hang on to it for dear life and then just move it into place. And then if you ever drag it out and go, oops, just again, reset it. And then I can just drag it until everything lines up. Click on P. Again, my left hand, let's just do a hand placement check. Just double check that your hand is hanging out on that left hand side. I am going to click over to my white arrow. Shortcut is A. That looks good right there. Click on P. And it's you haven't done the straight line approach to the pen tool, your life is about to get very, very easy. Just shift C, just lay down. And this did come up in our comments this week is these are the exact points that I use on my sketch. So just notice that there isn't any magic special sauce that I'm doing that I'm hiding from you. Just notice that we have a starting point. Anytime I see a change of direction or a curve or a sharp point, I'm plopping down an anchor point. So as soon as you start moving on to your own artwork, most of this is going to be pretty self-explanatory. The start, the finish, hey, do I want a point? Does it change direction? Is there a curve? And that should be a good signal for you that you should be plopping down some anchors. So again, I'm just doing the same exact process. Connect those dots. And on this one, I actually want to go a little bit long. So I'm going to go over here. So I'm just actually slapping it down. I'm just going to drag it out. I'm going to switch over. Notice I'm on my white arrow. Shortcut is A. And then I'm going to put those into place. I can always come back, grab that handle. Nice and slow. Do pay attention. I am pretty deliberate when I show you moving anchors and things like that. And I also wanted to show you the path because just how close to the anchor you can get where it's going to be wanting to grab that path for you. So as long as you know, hey, I can actually grab the path, it's going to prevent you from going too aggressive as you're pulling stuff out. I think there is a ton of frustration with just grabbing the path rather than the anchor. So I am just going to come right on around. I am going to connect that. So I'm going to drag this one so it is nice and straight up. I'm looking at this curve. A lot of this is going to get deleted. And then notice that I'm still on my Shift C. And then I'm just going to click that one off. So it's just going to get rid of it. And it's going to follow right back along. Let's do all of our pen tool. And then we'll save all of the circles for the end. So again, straight lines, Shift C. And if you're still trying to come over here, try and start doing some shift C's. So as you start doing this, the more and the faster you do your shortcuts, life becomes exponentially easier. Especially when we bounce from our white arrow to our black arrow, from our pen tool to shift C, there's a lot of bouncing between tools. So you just want to get out of the habit of having to go searching for stuff. So I'm just dragging stuff out. I'm just aligning everything. 
If I see that there's a sharp point, then that is a good signal that I can grab that path. Click on P. So notice that it's got my that little plus anytime I'm really, really close to that line. So I'm looking for that little asterisk before I do anything. And you can be as slow as you want with this. So don't think that you have to rush. You don't have to go at the same speed if I'm going too fast. If I am going too fast, let me know. I actually feel like I'm pretty slow today. Just want to see the pacing. So I'm just connecting the dots, shift C. All the experienced users are gonna say, you are way too slow. So I'm just lining up that line. Again, shift C. So notice that I was bouncing from shift C back to my white arrow. Shortcut is A, Shift C, just rounding out those corners. Again, if you ever go in the wrong direction, just hang on. I want you to just get really comfortable laying down some lines, connecting those dots. I think I want that one to go right there. I'm just gonna shove this one up into that corner. Anytime you have a bigger or a longer line, notice that we are starting with some of the bigger corners and angles first. And then I can come in and just modify where I want some things to go. And again, if it doesn't match up, I can always reset it. Just drag it out. I can always come back in with my white arrow, shrink some stuff up. I can always modify so you can edit at any point. So why we just get down our lines is you are going to be editing anyway. Just get them down. And then you can do all of the fine work at that point. Let's do that lip. Actually, let's do the tongue and then we'll do the big one. So I'm just clicking over to P, Shift C. I see a corner, so I'm going to start there. Click on P again. I see two points, so that is a good signal that I should be able to just grab that path, line it right on up. Let's click on P again. I see some easy ones, so let's just grab those. And whenever you see just two lines like that, there is this segment tool over here on the left-hand side. So you can do the segment tool if you find that that is an easier process and then just grab out the lines. So that is completely acceptable whenever you see two anchors. So again, when I want it to be nice and straight, I hold down shift. Notice that I have a big curve, so I'm looking at just that left-hand side right now. So I'm just looking at right there. That is all lined up. So I'm gonna switch over to my white arrow. And now I can come back and I'm just dragging it so it lines up. A lot of this is just gonna be for when we color things. So notice that this cheek, all of that cheek is gonna get covered up. So all that little segment right there is, is just so this kind of flows for our coloring later. So it's not nearly as big of a deal but just notice that if I want to have a curve that I am using my white arrow and I want you to just pay attention to that curve, how it's moving on both sides. Some of the mistakes, especially as we are using our shift C or our anchor tool is that you are still on that anchor tool. Just notice the icon and it'll look like it's doing stuff, but notice that it's only doing one side. So we're actually breaking that curve when we do that. So just pay attention to I switch over, then I grab that handle. That's one of the mistakes that a lot of people were gonna make. Or from the anchor tool to over to the white arrow. I think there's one right there by the tooth. Right there, and I think I go right up into the nose. I'm gonna click on Shift C. I'm gonna start with the big ones first. Just see how close I can get. I think we're just gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go Shift C, Control Zero. All right, guys, file save. We are done with this first step. That should have been pretty painless. I think most of you are gonna really like putting down the lines in that fashion, our kind of two-step approach where we get all of our lines down first, 
and then we adjust our curves using the anchor point tool and life is very very good so what we're going to do on the next video is add in all of our line variation if you guys are going through the tutorials definitely let me know if you are struggling with anything don't think that i'm not available put that into the comments say jay working on the coyote and then i will see if i can help you and be as available as possible throughout the day so with that said i will see you guys on the next tutorial